J. Cole did the unthinkable this week. <laughs> First, he came out and it dissed him, right? This because you know Kendrick a had response did, diss, a response diss to Kendrick because Kendrick was on Future's album and dissed him and Drake. Mm-hmm. People was wondering what they was going to do. Now I thought to myself, J. Cole might respond. I had thought in my head, I was like, J. Cole might say something. Mm-hmm. J. Cole didn't let me down. Came out like a light shot. Light shot. I thought the song was decent. About as light and as I agreed skin. on it. The song that was only out like a day and a half, two days. And he he, he has a Dreamville festival. We gotta play the we gotta play the tape. I didn't even listen to the apology. When has anybody in hip hop ever apologized for a diss record? It hasn't happened. This is unprecedented. This is the most light skinned nigga shit to ever happen in the history of human beings. He loses his hip hop license for this shit. It seemed to me J. Cole just got caught up in the moment. All the minute he started reading tweets. He said, oh, let me get back in. Let me get in the booth and say something. Who? And he got an outside himself. J. Cole. I presented my friend. I'm sorry. My bad. And if he, if he said if he respond, I'm just going to take it on the chin. No diddy. Guy said he going to take it on the chin and keep it moving. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? You sat down and wrote the whole disc record. Then you recorded it. Listen to the playback. Listen to the mix. Listen to the master. Uploaded the shit to SoundCloud and Apple Music. And then decided you didn't want it. I can't stand that. That's terrible. That's terrible.